Hello, welcome back to my channel. Couple days ago, one of my client asked me to create a image slider with a thumbnail navigation. So I made him one, and I'm using a Flickety uh, library, as you can download for free on the website flickety.metafusy.co and <coughs> i'm gonna share with you the custom element i made on my uh, github page you can download here and i will put the link of download uh, down on my video description so let's test the element i'm gonna edit with bricks I have not test this element fully yet, but for uh, displaying the image gallery, it's working fine. So let's, <coughs> sorry, let's add a section because we need the container with a div, uh, the block uh, display. And we're gonna add. Oh, to flick flick it slider element the first is for a main slider and the second is for a thumbnail navigation <laughs> i'm sorry it was my cat <coughs> and let's add some images uh, for this element i create to uh, control type the first is the image gallery control and then the second is the custom uh, option code control so you can add uh, your own option via json format and you can see the option on here there are many options which you can use as per your uh, requirement And let's uh, add a class to our main slider. And let's rename the element first. Main slider, and the second is thumbnail nav. And mm, we're gonna add. Uh, the image to our thumbnail slider and let's change the thumbnail size I'm gonna use a WooCommerce th thumbnail size 100 pixel per 100 pixel and let's see the front end Okay, we have a two uh, working slider, and we're gonna synchronize the f the first slider with the second slider by using the S snap for option. So this is the the option, and we're gonna copy this and pass it to our code uh, control and this is the JSON format so we're gonna start with the bracket and close it the bracket and don't forget to add a double quote and change this the single quote to double quote and change this to our uh, main slider class slider since I have a main slider class and let's save and see the result now let's click this one this one right then let's uh, use another option I'm gonna hide the 
di the dot pagination of the first the first slider where is the dot okay page dot false and go to the main slider and add our json a format option add double quote dot false and we're gonna um, hide the the arrow and the dot for our thumbnail enough so just put the comma here and add a page dot like this and we're gonna add the arrow the pref next button then let's save all right that it's that's working good and let's style our slider with a css i'm gonna put a css on the style uh, the css file so put this actually i have created the class before uh, the style for a class a main main slider class before and change this uh, class name to main slider change this to main slider and we're gonna target the carousel cell the element uh, I'm sorry the wrapper which has class which has class name carousel cell and the image uh, for the slider for the main slider Here we have a, a 500 pixel height and a 66% width. Okay, and we're gonna add a infinity loop to our main slider by using um, what is the function I I forget. I think it's all wrap round. Okay, let's see. Auto play group cell wrap round. Okay, I'm gonna this function and add <coughs> the code to the main slider. round through through and we can we have uh, infinity loading for our uh, main slider and I'm gonna use that too for my thumbnail navigation navigation so it has a, a absolute position I'm gonna add a container here I'm gonna put the thumbnail nav inside the container I'm gonna add the block uh, chain to the block and let's uh, set the width to maybe 40 
80% uh, xpixel again and then set the position to absolute and set the bottom to 40 pixel I think, and left to 40 pixel and let's save it and um, yes it's working as uh, should be and let's uh, enable the full screen option full screen true go to the main slider and put the option to here and save and let's see we have a button on the top right of the main slider and if we click and go to the full screen of our uh, slider I think that's enough for uh, today and uh, this is not a perfect uh, code the custom the custom element is uh, is not have a perfect code there are there are a lot uh, code that uh, I think uh, unaffected or inefficient or maybe wrong uh, so just use this uh, carefully and uh, use this only for your playground if you think uh, this element is good enough for you then you can apply it use it on your actual project and thank you for watching and happy coding